Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Sweaty. We're the Slow Mo Guys. We have been for many years now. We're in a quarry today, not in my back garden, because this is going to go up really high and we don't know where it will land. Don't really want to litter the neighbor's gardens yeah, with gutters. coke. Yeah, gutters. Yeah, exactly. What are we doing, Dan? There's a classic physics experiment where you take some of the coke out of here and replace it with liquid butane fuel. And when you turn it upside down, it shoots off like a rocket. Because of physics. Because of physics. But I'll explain a bit more of that. Yeah, we'll learn about that as we go. Shall we begin? Yes. Excellent. All right, Dan. Compressed physics lesson, go. This is a pretty cool science experiment using the interesting properties of butane. Because it, its boiling temperature is about zero degrees C, which if you're American, I guess, is something 30 something Fahrenheit. It's basically when water freezes. I think 32 Fahrenheit. 32 Fahrenheit, okay. Um, and it's stored as a liquid inside this can. And because it's, it's such a, it's only zero degrees as the boiling temperature, it means it's not super high pressure in there. And when I release this nozzle here, what's happening is gas will come out, initially liquid, but it's just gas. And that's because the butane is, is vapor pressure is coming up and letting the gas escape. Whereas if I turn it down like this, like when you're filling a lighter and you're actually using the fuel, what will happen is the liquid will escape rather than the gas. Yeah, like that. <laughs> it tastes nice, right? And we're going to use that. Whew, we're going to use that inside of this Coke bowl. Now I'm going to pour some of this Coke out, and um, probably down to like here-ish. And when I put the liquid in, because the butane is less dense than the Coca-Cola, it will sit on top in a little layer like that. And it will start boiling then and sort of vapor will come out the top. But when I turn it upside down, what happens is because the butane is it pretty much immediately boils because it's got all the contact with the coke, which is warmer than the butane and causes it to instantly vaporize, which increases the pressure inside the coke can, causing a rapid expansion of gas. And then it escapes out the bottom, causing a sort of rocket effect. And this Venturi shape here, where it increases the pressure due to the narrowness of the bottom of the bottle also helps with that. And you can actually do this with water, can't you? Except the, uh, the effects aren't as pronounced because of there's no carbonation. That's right, you can do it with water, but with the Coca-Cola, what happens is the, the carbonation comes out of solution and that increases the amount of gas in the bottle even more. So you get even more of a, a rocket effect. We will begin at a thousand frames a second in 4K. I'm just gonna bag this. Excuse me, uh, viewers. Even though this is a interesting science experiment, Definitely don't try it at home. The bottle could fly up and hit you in the teeth or the eyes. And it's also incredibly flammable. Okay, you ready? Yep. Go for it. Whoa! Whoa! Flipping heck! <laughs> that just went! That was like, uh, it was struggling at first and then the, and the gas finally made it through and it went poom! Okay, playing back. So it's, it's all about rapidly turning it over rather than like slowly because it has to rise through the coke. Yeah. So I've let go at this point because I expected it to go. It just looks like it's floating now. Well, I don't think there's any propulsion yet. I think that's just gravity kicking in. Yeah, there's no... I don't think there's anything until then. And then it's like... Whoa! Whoa! It's rapid! You see all the butane coming out the... Yeah, like, can... It's like it turns immediately into gas. The wavy it? lines. Yeah. Look at your face! <laughs> <laughs> Like chubby, like what? What character do I look like there with the mouth like that? I like some sort of Muppet, you know the Muppets. <laughs> You're like one of the Three Stooges. Yeah. So it looks like what actually happened was the Coke all left the bottle pretty much, and then it went poof. I think possibly for the next test, less Coke, more Butte. Less Coke, more Butte. Okay. I'll pump up the Butte. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> oh! I got covered. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> <laughs> that was some air time. It really got some hang time there, didn't it? I, I honestly, I, with the fan sip, I tried to track it. Absolutely no chance. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to be able to do that. Because it doesn't take off immediately either. Yeah, I didn't want to leave too soon. Yeah, you're and like, then ooh, I was like, ooh, all right, ooh. when it goes up, and it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> Or oh, lift off. Ooh. Here we go. Pump. We know the size of that actually. We should take measurements of the size of the Coke bottle and then we can plot how quickly that's moving. That's a good idea. Look at this. Look at this attempt to track it. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Yeah. Bloody hell, it's hot under this bag. Oh. Are you, uh, in, are you, in the, you in the bag? Oh, it's like a face sauna. <laughs> oh my god. Do you want some Coke? That is extreme. It's like, it's like 10 degrees hotter. Oh. Ah, oh. put your head in that, up that bag and see what you think. All right. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
No, I don't fancy that. <laughs> yeah, you can see it all just like whizzing down the bottle. Though. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I feel like there's a lot of factors in play because once it starts moving, the rest of the Coke gets kind of slammed down into the bottom and it's also becoming lighter at the same time. So it's like an exponential thrust. Good so far? Yeah, pretty fun little experience. I mean, might as well try. This is an absolute Zweihander. I'm going to have to like use both <laughs> hands here. This actually stops it from evaporating as much. Ready? Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, it's still raining. Oh my God. Where did it go? We got one over there. Flipping out. Oh no. I'd avoided getting wet until then. God, it's like a proper slow takeoff compared to the other ones. <laughs> oh, it went right for you. Oh, it no. went right out. <laughs> oh, I got absolutely annihilated. Oh, <laughs> look how bloody high it went. It's just gone. I was like, that's not up there. Immediately out of frame. <laughs> You're just getting showered. Oh. The big fat ones are too sloshy. Like I can't like turn them upside down in the right amount of time. Yeah. Bef like they just sort of. And I bet because it's your like, you swung it around. Yeah. It's ready to go, but the liquid is still inflicting this way on it. Yeah. And then it goes up at an angle. It keeps going off to the side and splashing me. <laughs> oh! So I've got a medium sized one that I can still do with one hand, I think. Yeah. And I can do it pretty quickly because it's one handed. And I think it'd be a good sort of compromise between the two. This could be the perfect size. Yeah. Here we go. Whoa! Bloody <laughs> hell! <laughs> that was the best one, I think. That was great. rocket pretty much all the coke's now out you see that yeah and then it just starts spinning like 15 <laughs> feet up yeah well it's, it's like you need a really long one yeah <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't be able to throw a coke bottle that high would you no not in, not it just doesn't have the million years it's like we keep like a team rocket like little lens flare <laughs> ding, ding. <laughs> that was good fun that i had fun not to be done indoors, of course. Probably not. Or a greenhouse. I actually like it when the science experiments are uh, sort of really fun at the same time as you're learning something that's happening. It's an exhilarating experiment. Yeah. Because it's always, it's like a lot of build up and it's very sudden. I thought it was going to be more of like an explosion. Like I thought it was going to be like slightly more risk of this like bursting open or something like that. I was a bit unsure. And yeah. Like the first time I did it, I was like, Whoa. but then <laughs> yeah. after that, I was like, it actually is like a gradual sort of pressure build up and then it shoots off. Look at the sheen on you. You got your absolutely caked in coke. Oh, it's the thing is because it doesn't it evaporates and then the sugar's left. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just sticky for the rest of the day. Did you bring a change of clothes? No. I really should learn. <laughs> you never bring a change. I never bring a change like we packed everything into this truck. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Feel free to subscribe. Whack that bell. It doesn't make a noise sadly, but uh it does do a lot for us. And we have a second channel. Yeah. See you in the next video. We found them all as well, didn't we? Yeah. We got them. Had to get them.